Hello everyone and welcome to the final review of the Micromax A110Q Canvas 2 Plus. The device features a 1.2 GHz quad core processor, 1 GB of RAM, 4 GB of internal storage, 8 megapixel primary and 2 megapixel front facing camera. There is a 5 inch FW VGA display as well. Now let's move over to the device. On the left you can see the volume rocker. On the right there is the power button. At the bottom you have your primary microphone and a space to get the back cover off. Now at the top, the secondary microphone, data syncing and charging port and 3.5 headphone jack. At the back, the primary camera, dual LED flash, Micromax logo and the main speakerphone. Now, as you can see at the bottom, you have your three capacitive buttons. At the top, the video camera, some sensors, the primary earpiece and small notification LED. Now let's talk about the build quality of the device. Although the device is a bit way, it feels nice in the hand and very sturdy as well. Now let's have a look at the viewing angles of the display. As you can see, there is no color distortion, which is always good to see. And when you hold your device, the thumb rests on the power button and another finger on the volume rocker, which is great for ergonomics. Now let's open the back cover. Right now, let's talk about the back cover. As you can see, it is very flimsy, very thin, probably to keep the device thinner, but doesn't speak quality at all. Inside, you have your battery, SIM cards, memory card, and the camera and LED flash. At the bottom, you have your speakerphone there as well. Now, let's close up the back cover. But once the back cover is back on, shut tight. We forget that it was so flimsy and the device feels sturdy again. Now, let's talk about call quality. There were no network issues or drop calls we faced. As you can see, Micromax has done some customizations to the dialer, but they are very minor. We didn't have any issues on the other end as well. There was no noise and the person on the other side was able to hear us without any echo and other issues. Talking about the display, we have a 5 inch FWVG display. That's 854 by 480 pixels. Let's change some wallpapers so that you can see the color reproduction as well. As you can see, the colors are very vibrant and natural without being oversaturated. I've already showed you the viewing angles. They are really great and the device does not fade even if you move it from either side or from top to bottom. As you can see, while moving through the different home screens also, there is no lag and there is great touch response. And you can read the text and see the icons there as well. They are sharp, although it's just a 480p display. And you can see that the brightness is just turned about one third. And still, you can see everything clearly. Now let's talk about the software. Micromax hasn't tinkered much with the software. It's very stock Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, stock launcher, stock app drawer, and majority of the menus also are stock. As you can see, this will mean that you can get updates very easily on the device. Now let's move to the notification drawer. Here you see the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean notifications. User profiles and display timeout, these have been added by Micromax. Now let's talk about the browsing experience. We have used Chrome browser. We'll open phonebunch.com. As expected, the mobile version of our website is going to open first. You can see that the touch response is great on our website as well. There is no lag while scrolling. Let's switch to the desktop website. Let's zoom in a bit. All right, so the website is loaded. As you can see that the text reflows very quickly. And there is no issue while scrolling or pinch to zoom as well. Now let's open a link. 
So the websites load very quickly as well. And this is the first time without any cache that we are opening it. That pinch to zoom works great. Let's see the text now. Here too, the text is absolutely sharp and great to view. So there is no lack of detail, even though, again, this is a low resolution display. Now let's open the Flipboard app. Some users had asked us to review the Flipboard app. That there are no issues with Flipboard on this device and we have installed it from the Play Store. As you can see here too, there is no lag and the app works great. There are some pre-installed apps that come with the device, like the file manager. Then you have your to-do list, notebook, and the Google apps as well, which cannot be uninstalled. Moving on. Now let's get into the settings menu. Here the icons have been customized, as you can see. In SIM management, you can choose the default SIM for voice calls, messaging, and data as well. Now if your default options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, going into user profiles, you have an audio enhancement which I would recommend that you switch off immediately as it distorts the sound. Now in storage, you have the option to choose a default write disk which can be your external SD card or your internal SD card. Now let's move into security. You have options to unlock your screen through facial recognition or voice. We have tried both of them and both of them do work. Now let's get into accessibility options. Here you have talkback and magnification gestures, which can be a boon to the visually impaired. Moving on, let's go back into the system settings once more and see which Android version it is running. So as you can see, the phone is running Android 4.2.1 and is the Micromax A110Q. Now I'll show you the camera interface. On the left, you have the different modes, the normal, HDR, panorama, multi-angle shot and various others. From here, you can switch the flash on or off and next to it, the default camera to use. So in settings, you can choose the default storage location multiple scene modes which can be of some use in good lighting then you have options for white balance and anti-flicker which you should not play with now we have some specific image settings here you have zero shutter delay as you can see the picture size is 6 megapixels since we are on 16 by 9 aspect ratio if we change it to 4 is to 3 you have the full 8 megapixels let's go into video settings now here we have electronic image stabilization, which should be on. Then we have audio mode, which can be meeting or normal. We have set the video quality to fine. Here there are some effects as well, which are practically of no use. We already have an in-depth camera review of the Canvas 2 Plus, and it talks about the dual LED flash, which gives out a purplish flare. Do read it. It's linked in the description. Talking about the speakerphone, it's a bit flush with the back cover. So if you put the phone down on its back, you almost can't hear it. Continuing with the music review, here are the bundle earphones that come with the device. These have a metallic mesh, an angular pin, which is golden again, and a single button to receive or end calls. But these are truly atrocious, and I would recommend that you get yourself a good pair of earphones if you want to listen to music on this device. I'll play a song for you. As you can hear, the sound is very muffled when the device is on its back. But if I pull it up, you can hear that the speakerphone is quite loud. But we did find that the speakerphone is a bit low on volume. The maximum volume could have been a little bit higher and the quality would still have been maintained. But yes, the speakers do sound nice.
So that's enough of that. Moving on. Now we'll test FM radio on this device. For that we need to plug in the headset. As you saw, it picked up the channel very quickly. I'll just move it to speaker. Here too, you can hear that the quality is very nice. And the sound is not distorted at all. Even though we are indoors in a room. Now let's get to the video playback on this device. The Macromax Canvas 2 Plus can play just 720p videos and not 1080p natively and it supports MP4 and AVI files by default. I will show you one video. It's 720p at 30 frames per second. I will just zoom in a bit so that you can see the video more clearly. You can see that there is no lag while the video is playing and you can see the different colors as well. They are vibrant and true. You can have a look at the different lighting scenarios as well and there are no issues, there is no lag in the display and the colors seem natural here too. Although we are looking at an angle at the display but you can see that the display is quite clear and the viewing angle is great again. Moving on, now I will play a YouTube video for you. Our own gaming review of this very smartphone. It will play in high quality mode that would be 480p and not HD because the display doesn't support it. Hello everyone, so today we are going to do the gaming review of the Micromax Canvas 2 Plus and we are going to begin with the less intensive games. Let's begin with Temple Run. As you can see that there is no lag whatsoever. YouTube videos too play without any issues on the device which is evident from right here. And you can see the touch screen response as well it's pretty quick. I'll just skip over. So here is just a different part of the video. Here too you can see that there are no issues, no lag whatsoever in streaming video. Talking about performance, you can see that there is no lag while we move through the different home screens and in the app drawer or the widgets as well. We already have a benchmarking review of the Macromax Canvas 2 Plus where we found that it was much better than the Canvas HD and in some respects equivalent to last year flagships like the Note 2 and the Galaxy S3. Now some issues. First of all, the magnetic sensor of the device does not seem to work, which is generally an issue with the ROM of the device. The same is with the GPS. The GPS does not get a lock even if you leave it for 30 minutes or so and therefore the Maps app cannot get a lock on you if you use just a GPS. But on a GPS or Wi-Fi it does work great. So that's the final review of the Macromax A110Q. Do read the attached post that is linked in the description. It will give you much detailed look. If you have any more queries or do you want to ask us something specific regarding the device 
hit us back in the comments here or at phonebunch.com. Thank you and have a great day.